This new Google Gemini update is absolutely insane. So what you can see here, for example, is we can generate audio overviews just by uploading a document. And additionally, you can create like absolutely awesome landing pages like you can see right here using the brand new update from Gemini. Now, this is a bit of a game changer because they've just announced this literally less than 24 hours ago. And essentially, they have a new interactive space called Canvas for refined documents and code and also audio overview, which basically turns your files into like podcast style discussions, right? So you can see here, for example, I uploaded my book, Link Building Mastery and like Notebook LM, which is another Google product. You can see an AI generated version of my book, right? So let's play this, for example. Right. So today we're going to dive into something that I think a lot of people struggle with. We are going to try to demystify link. So this whole audio is number one, generated by AI, and number two, it's customized to my book that I uploaded, right? You can do this with any document that you upload. It's a bit of a game changer because number one, like the designs look 10 times better. If I do the same prompt inside, say, ChatGPT or Claude, I don't think it's going to look anywhere near as, it, as good as this. And also, I don't know any other AI that can do this, especially not as well as this. This is like a podcast style audio. It's more about manipulating the system, trying to trick. Google into ranking your website higher. Right. And you've got two podcast speakers inside that, right? Discussing all the information about you, your blog, etc. This would be awesome to embed inside a blog or to you could upload to Spotify, create a podcast out of it, or YouTube, etc. And it's very convincing that it's two actual genuine people talking about this, right? Now, just to show you how powerful this is, we pull up chat GBT and we'll compare these side by side, right? So as an example of this, we use exactly the same prompt inside Gemini, which is create a landing page for an SEO agency. And we'll do exactly the same prompt inside ChatGPT. We'll compare them side by side. So let me pull this up for you as an example. And we'll get ChatGPT up here. So ChatGPT already had a canvas feature, but the style of it was not that good. I'm also going to compare this to Claude as well. Claude is another one of my favorite AI tools for generating landing pages, but it's not going to be as good from what I remember. All right, so we're going to wait for those to load, but you can see here, like the design is good. This has a CTA throughout the page for a free consultation. It's got information about the services and we literally just gave it one single prompt, which was create a landing page for an SEO agency. It went off, coded it, created the contact information, created the testimonials. And all we have to do is fill in the blanks on that information. We can also see the code here and you could easily download this and then export it or host it on Netlify. You can also share the canvas. So if we click on share over here, it will create like a subdomain where your canvas is actually hosted. Right? So if we click on that, we open this up. Look at that. It's deployed to a subdomain, right? So we can actually share that with other people. People can check out the code, check out the preview. You could probably just send traffic to that and it would still convert right? if you had the right funnel links inside it. So super powerful stuff. Let's have a look inside, for example, chat GPT. We'll compare these side by side. So. Here's the difference. Here's how powerful Gemini is with its new update versus ChatGPT. Like I've never really rated Chat Gemini as a tool, but this is game change. So if you look at the quality of the front end here on ChatGPT, which is super buggy right now for some reason, look at that, which is like really boring design, not much information, no CTAs, no navigation menu. And it's just not that interesting. Whereas, for example, if you go over to Gemini, Gemini has got really nice design, nice front end, looks a lot more modern. Like this is a bit more 2023, whereas this one is more like a 2025 style design. And it was exactly the same prompt. Even Claude is one of my favorite AI coding tools of all time, right? But if we have a look at this, like it's messy, the responsive design is not that nice. It doesn't look anywhere near as good as the response from Gemini. And all of a sudden, overnight, literally with one single update, Gemini has become like one of the best coding tools for front end. Like it looks super nice and it requires minimal coding. Like you can see, it's almost like Bolt, but it's better. In fact, let's test this out. So I'm going to go over to Bolt.new and we'll test out the new update from Gemini for coding versus Bolt.new, right? So we'll say create a landing page for an SEO agency. And again, you can deploy this to a subdomain as well, which is one of the unique things about Bolt.new previously, but now you can deploy this pretty easily on a subdomain just by clicking the share options, share canvas right there. And 
You can also revert, so you can see previous versions of this, and it's really easy to go through this. So, for example, let's wait for this to load on Boldart New. And the main way that you can use this, let me pull this up. So if you go to gemini.google.com forward slash app, and then you're going to select canvas right here, right? That's how you use this. So you go to canvas and then you give it the command. So for example, if you say run a self playing snake game, it's going to start coding that out. The other cool thing about Gemini is it's donkulously fast, right? It's really fast at coding. If you saw, for example, ChatGPT earlier, you saw how slow it was for coming up with designs and that sort of thing. Whereas this is just really quick. We can switch to preview anytime we want. We look at the UI and everything like that. It's pretty nice, pretty simple and easy to do. The code, to be fair, that code doesn't work. So I'm not saying this is perfect by any means, but the UI is much nicer and you can go back and forth inside the canvas right here. Okay. Now, if we come back to bulk.new and we have a look at the outputs from bulk.new, Let's pull this up as an example, All right? And we go back to that previous chat with Gemini. Which landing page is nicer? This one from bolt.new, which is really short. Doesn't look that nice in terms of the design. Feels like a generic AI website. Or this one, where the colors are nice, the branding is nice. It's got these pop-outs here. Even the testimonials pop up and animate. It's got a nice little contact us form, right? By far, Gemini is creating nicer landing pages using exactly the same prompting process. So that's the power of Gemini and how awesome it is. And that is just one example. So for coding now with the canvas and the preview is pretty cool. It does seem a little bit temperamental for you creating games with it, but for landing pages, certainly it's a good option. And then if you want to use the audio version, let me show you exactly how to do that, right? It takes a few minutes to generate. So if we go to Gemini over here, and then we're gonna click on new chat, like you can see, then you're going to upload a file, right? So you upload a file. So for example, let's say you've got my link building mastery book. We'll click on files, upload the document. So that's just a Google doc. And then once you've uploaded that, it will give you the option to generate an audio overview. So you have to upload a document and then using that document, you can generate an audio overview. Now, the other game changer Gemini recently is that they've just introduced deep research right deep research if you haven't used this already let me show you a few examples of this so this is what deep research looks like if you want to use it you just select the top left drop down and then go to deep research and this creates like a really in-depth powerful report that goes off on the web and it is free for people to access right now if you want to for example turn that into an overview i don't think you can paste it in here so you can't paste it but what you would do is you would export that deep research into Google Docs, like you can see right here. All right. Then once you've done that, you can download that deep research you've got. So you've got like a really in-depth report on whatever you've asked it to do. Then we're going to go over to Gemini 2.0 Flash. Upload that file with the deep research, like you can see. Wait for it to upload. And then you can generate an audio overview. And once you've generated the audio overview, here's what it's going to look like. So it's going to be generated. It does take a few minutes, so you can either keep that open or you can just come back to the chat later, and then you're good to go on that, right? Now, if we come back to that previous audio overview that we created, this one right here, we can also download the conversation. So we can download that and use that as a file, or we can actually share that with other people, right? So if we click on share publicly, we can click on the link. It automatically copies it. Then we can open that up in a new tab. And if we wait for that to load, you can see it's hosted on a gemini.google.com subdomain. So it might take a minute or so to publish, but we'll come back to it later. But yeah, that's basically how you can do it. And so you can see how easy it is. Then you've got the content right here. You can see how it's created, when it was created, the date, etc. how easy it is to do. And then you can even continue this chat. So you can continue the chat as well. And then if we open this up and we'll play it. So let's click on play here. So today we're going to dive into something that I think a lot of people struggle with. We have got to try demystify link building for SEO. Oh yeah. And we are going to be using your jet. Bear in mind as well. Like literally all I've done here is click generate audio overview. 
and upload a document. So there's not even any prompting required. And also this is a lot nicer than the notebook LM dot Google interface, right? So if you're using the UI inside notebook LM, it's quite messy, but you can see it's not that easy to navigate and use. It's hard to go back to old projects, etc. It's just not as nice. Whereas inside Gemini, it's clean. It's nice. It looks good. And the audio is pretty much perfect. Let's play more of this. A really cool ebook that I found. It's called Link Building Mastery by Julian Goldie. Oh, fantastic. And uh, in this deep dive, we're really trying to drill down and figure out what are the most effective ethical link building techniques that you could use to improve your website's SEO. Absolutely. And I think a lot of times people get really overwhelmed with this topic. So we're hoping to cut through all the clutter. So that's enough of that, but you get the point. Like it's pretty easy to set up, pretty easy to automate audio. And literally all you do is just upload a document. So between those new updates, really powerful stuff. And it does take a few minutes to generate. So this one is still being generated, but you get the point, right? So this was just announced literally a few hours ago. And again, you can share the canvas. You can go to gemini.google.com forward slash canvas. If you want to go straight there, this source is super useful for previewing react and HTML code, drafting and editing documents and building like interactive prototypes, right? So for example, coming back to that snake game we built earlier, pretty powerful stuff. Now let's try another one. So if we go to a new chat here, we can select between all the different models we've got access to. I'm going to go with 2.0 flash. We'll click on canvas over here. And then let's say, for example, we want to create something. So I'm going to say now create an SEO cost calculator codes it really quickly. So it should save a lot of time as well when you're generating these responses. And yeah, you can generate like full websites. Look how quick and easy that was to do. The output is pretty nice too. You can select what type of website you want to do. Keywords, pages to optimize, target location. You can click which services you require. And then the calculator actually works perfectly as you can see down there. So got the estimate cost, the information, the base costs, etc. How easy was that? Like it doesn't matter whether you can code or not. If you have an idea, you can build it in minutes. And then also you can grab the code like you can see right here. You could download that code if you wanted to as well. But the other option here is like, you can just go and embed that into a website. Also, if we go to LiveWeave, we can preview it here. So if we plug that in, you can preview it inside liveweave.com. If you want to see what it looks like as a standalone, really simple stuff to do. Now, I wonder if we can make changes to that. So I'm going to go inside Ask Gemini here and I'll say, okay, here's my brand colors below. Please redesign it. So we'll just ask it to redesign that now and see, you can see it refreshing over here. So you can see the buffering circle as it's coding. So it must be running through the code, rebranding it. And if we reopen the preview, you can see it's used the new branding colors right there. So it's really simple and easy to update this. Doesn't seem to be as annoying as using chat GPT sometimes on the canvas. And they've definitely stepped up the game. For example, let's do the exact same prompt inside Gemini versus advanced. So I'm going to plug this into Gemini chat GPT at the same time and see number one, how fast each one is and number two, which one comes back with the better output, right? So we'll say create an SEO cost calculator. I'll give chat GPT the head start and we'll see which one creates the canvas fastest. All right. So you can see already, like this is coming up with a faster response from Gemini. So it seems to be a lot quicker and it's already finished, right? You can see the preview right there. Now, if we go back to chat GPT, it's actually not giving us an option to preview it this time, which is fine. And if we say, okay, rewrite this as HTML. It's going to start rewriting it now. So, you know, already Gemini has already got the head start in terms of creating it for a preview in the canvas mode. And we'll wait for that to load and then we'll run the preview and compare the tools side by side. So you can see how slow it is to generate outputs versus Gemini. Let's click on, we don't seem to be able to preview that actually. That's interesting. Yeah. There's no preview option on that, is there? Usually you even get preview, but this time you don't. So. You know, let's preview this inside liveweave.com instead, if chat GPT is not working. So we'll plug in the HTML of it. And you can see like the design is just not as interesting as nice, right? So if we pull up, this is the output from chat GPT. 
let's pull that up and compare it versus Gemini. And we'll compare side by side which one is a better for coding and front end. Like which one looks nicer? Obviously it's going to be Gemini's, right? It has a nice little explainer sentence. The form is a bit more well thought out. It's more interesting. If we try and calculate the total cost, actually, let's have a look here. So it does update, but there's no button to get started. Unlike this one, the UI and the design is just 10 times nicer. So you can see the difference here between the two models and how much more powerful Gemini is. And Gemini is a lot faster. For me, honestly, I would seriously consider switching to Gemini at this point. Like the reason that I didn't like it previously was it was pretty bad for coding, getting intelligent responses. But now it's got a canvas option. It's got an audio version like Google are back in the game for sure. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get the SAP and all my best AI agents, SEO workflows, AI workflows, NA10 templates, etc. Feel free to get that inside the AI Profit Boardroom. This is a community with one single goal, which is save you hundreds of hours and make you more money with AI. So if you want to join, feel free to get that link in the comments description. If you sign up now, you're locking your legacy price before the prices go up at the end of the month. So you'll save money today and also forever if you sign up at that price. And additionally, this comes with all of my best workflows on like M MCP agents, NA10 agents, We've got workflows on how to set up Google AI agents as well. And you see how many updates we've made just in March alone. So it's absolutely wild. Top of that comes with a community of 475 people. You can ask for help and advice. And as well as that, you can also jump on the weekly Q and A. So if you sign up today, you can jump on the weekly Q and A, ask us any questions that you have. And if you can't make the Q and A calls, but you're still stuck, you can actually watch back the Q and A recordings like you can see right here inside the classroom. So feel free to get that link in the comments in the description. And if you want to get a free one-to-one -one SEO strategy session, feel free to put that in the link in the comments in the description. On this free SEO strategy session, we'll show you how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate hundreds of thousands of dollars in sales and autopilot. On this free link building acceleration session, you'll get a free SEO donation plan. So this will be custom tailored so you can generate more lead sales and profits from your website. You'll discover the secrets SEO link building. You'll get your questions answered. You'll learn the best link building strategy for your website, plus how to quickly get our IQ competitors to link building and 10x SEO traffic based on what's working for us and our happy clients, like you can see right here. Feel free to get that link in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching.